Hey YouTube, 7 Dragon Games. Uh, so today I'm going to show you a really simple tutorial on how to place uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee on PC. It's really not that hard. You're just going to need a few things. You're going to need this Melee ISO. Um, I'll have uh, the magnet link in the description so you can get that. You're going to need Dolphin Emulator right here. I'll have a link to that in the description as well. You just download from their website and install. Super simple, super simple. And in case you want to use a controller, you're going to need another program. Uh, personally, I use a PlayStation 3 controller through uh, Motion Enjoy Driver and the or DS3 mapping program, uh, but I might have a tutorial on how to set that up in the future, but for now, you might have to look at another video. So, once you have these two things, it's really easy, guys. You just gotta open Dolphin, once you have it all set up, and you see the ISO here, um, to get it into Dolphin, you just have to open, find it, I have it on my desktop, uh, boom, right there, and hit open. Uh, you don't have to change the file type or the name unless you want to for some reason. Uh, so cancel. Uh, but you don't play right away because you have to set up like a few more things. So go into GC pad. And if you're using keyboard, bind all your keyboard controls. I personally don't use keyboard. I use uh, this. Er, yeah. Sorry. I just want to make sure it doesn't mess up settings. Okay. So I use... Uh, motion enjoy driver so it says that but i map it through better ds3 so once you have all your bindings set up um just hit okay and there's a few more settings you have to change you have to go to config and enable idle skipping dual core and cheats it's very important that you did do this uh frame limit you can do that i don't recommend it unless you want to keep it at 30 stable or 60 stable in case it bothers you uh you don't need to change anything here pass we gamecube audio interface um, uh, unless you want to change that for preference, I personally don't. Uh, and once you do that, you want to go to properties, uh, after right-clicking on the ISO, or not the ISO, like it, uh, the banner, the title itself, and make sure you have dual core and idle skipping on here too. So once you have that, you want to go to AR codes and enable netplay to play through netplay. Um, I recommend playing through Netplay with other people, um, I don't know how to set one up, but my friend Michael does, so I play with him a lot. So once that's done, you can close this, <clears throat> and you're already done, you can play right now. So I'll open that, you can see it's finding ISO, getting specs and everything, and boom, you're right in the character select screen. You can't go to the main menu as far as I know, but you don't really need to, because you can only play with bots. Uh, you can change the settings, just, uh, oh, just, uh, press character, and then press, uh, your confirm up here, and change all the settings to your liking, um, and that's pretty much it, you can play with up to three computers, whatever level you want, um, it's got all the characters unlocked, everything, uh, that's pretty much it, um, yeah, so once you have all that done, just, close it, and you're done. You can play as much as you want. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.